Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about curriculum verification. Objectives for today. We're going to discuss why inclusion in early childhood general education setting is a beneficial practice for all learners, including children with and without disabilities. We'll also discuss options for providing instructional support in inclusive settings. Especially, we're going to talk about curriculum modification. We're going to think about the importance of curriculum modification and efficient ways to do that. LRE, Least Restrictive Environments. That's the IDEA, the Special Education Law terminology for inclusion. So when we say LRE, that's an environment where students with disability learn the age-appropriate or developmentally appropriate contents with same-aged peers without disability. There are many benefits as well as drawbacks too, uh, but among many, many benefits of it, uh, I would say the most beneficial feature of inclusion is that um, children with disability have access to core contents they, that is being taught to peers without disability, which becomes very um, sensitive equity issue, right? To get all children those benefits, special educators get really busy. They have a lot to do for successful inclusion. So they develop IEP, delivered individualized instructions. They have so many things to do. But the most basic thing they have to do as special educator is doing adequate curriculum modification that makes children with disability included into mainstreaming, as well as that does not interrupt other children's learning at the same time. So curriculum modification is a change to ongoing classroom activity or materials in order to facilitate or maximize a child's participation in planned activities or routines. Curriculum modification should be, should be thought of as easy to implement interventions that require thought and planning but not additional resources. When should curriculum modification be used? Technically, you can consider curriculum modification when a child is interested in the ongoing activity but is not able to fully participate. But you can also do curriculum modification before students participate in the setting in the planning stage uh, if you anticipate that curriculum modification will be critical for specific students to participate in specific classroom activities. Now we're going to take a look at the chapter, the reading on Blackboard. So this chapter, the standard chapter on Blackboard, they provide eight different types of basic curriculum modification like this. Environmental support, material adaptation, activity simplification, child preferences, uh, special equipment, adult support, peer support, invisual support. Those are eight different types of modification and they're just idea. So we're going to take a look at that. We already did take a look some of those examples throughout the semester but now we will see the whole chapter and see lots of examples so we'll take some time to look at the modification examples by the type of by the types of modification first and then we'll take a look at the modification by activities and routines Please make sure curriculum modification should be made for one specific child. Several children in a same classroom can have curriculum modification, but the modification may look different or the same depending on the student's needs. So the chapter has two different parts. They introduce curriculum modification first by the type of modification, then they move on to the curriculum modification by the activities or routines. So we're going to take, the, take a look at the two different parts today. 
So the first part is by modification types. It starts from the page 62 to 85. You will read the modification examples, curriculum modification examples organized by modification type. You will see a lot of examples, scenarios. Um, then I'm going to talk about what you do now talk about what you need to do so that's a direction for this activity which become your reading guide five for this week so under week six which is today you're going to see the readings that's a reading you're gonna read for today uh, what i just said is from page 62 right here that's page 62 right so you will see the curriculum modification by types. So you see there are eight different types, environmental support. The second one is material adaptation, activity simplification, blah, blah, blah. There are eight different types of curriculum modification. Again, they, that's just idea, um, not the absolute answer, but I want you to take a look at different type of modification examples and get familiar with what it is. If you see the next page, page 63, uh, they starts with environmental support, which is a first type of curriculum modification they want to introduce. So under that, they have if, 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 that's their scenario. So possible scenario, when child has difficulty keeping the child's hands to uh, herself, himself, when working on individual activities or project. That's a scenario, and the bold face right here, that's their own idea for curriculum modification. Provide environmental uh, workspaces by using trays, box leads, or placement. So that's their own idea. You're going to read all the scenarios, all the idea for curriculum modification. Move on. Next page, say under same category, environmental support, they have three different um, scenario and idea for curriculum modification related to changing the social environment. Next page as well, environmental support, uh, teacher can change temporal environment, which is time. Um, then three scenarios, three examples under that. Next page, they have new category, new type of curriculum modification, which is material adaptation. And that's their own idea um, for curriculum modification. Scenario, specific example, scenario, specific example. So that's how they introduce uh, different scenario and example under each like different type of curriculum modification. You're good, right? Okay, now I want you to look at those examples and scenario. There are, again, there are eight different types of modification. So they introduce a lot of scenario and examples under each type. If you go back to the um, Blackboard under week six, under that reading, you will see the activity sheets. You can download it. This will become reading guide five for this week again, okay? So download it, and then you will see this Word document. So make sure you write down your name. So what you're going to do, let me explain it to you. So you're going to listen to the lecture and direction, which you're doing it now. Uh, if you move on to the second page, then I said I organize it, uh, the chapter first by the type, uh, modification type. We know there are eight different types, right? So that's the eight. Those are the eight, right? What I want you to do is as you read through the scenario and, and examples, you may have a better idea or a different idea for curriculum modification for specific scenario under each type of um, curriculum modification, right? So we just take a uh, we just took a look at the example, the scenario. Child has difficulty keeping hands to 
uh, the child self when working on individual activity and the books example of curriculum modification was provide individual workspace by using tray box lead or playmates do you remember right so this is a scenario then oh as i read i had better idea about it uh, for curriculum modification for this given situation then you provide your own idea so i said provide a seating mats or a chair if that's your idea, then you will write that down. So what you're going to do is you're going to retype or copy the scenario right here. My own idea, you provide my uh, your own idea like that instead of books idea. So you, I want you to uh, provide your own idea. You do your own thinking process for curriculum modification. You may have the same idea. You may really like that idea the book provides. And you can copy that um, example if that's the best answer you think. Then you can just do that. I'm okay with that. Either provide your own idea or just copy uh, their own their the book's idea for the scenario. Either way, okay, okay. Uh, but I want you to I want you to think about your own idea. That's the best. So I would say like that. And then move on to the next type and pick one scenario from this type from the book and then you provide your own idea or you can just copy the book's idea if that's the best answer you think okay so i want you to do eight of these when you move on to the uh curriculum modification by activity and routines you're gonna do the same thing let me go back to the uh, PowerPoint now. So once you're done looking at uh, the curriculum modification by modification type, then you can move on to the curriculum modification by activities and routines. It starts from the page 68 to 133. Uh, you'll also do the same thing for this part. So you're going to read the example and scenario and it, when you have your own your your own idea for a specific scenario then you're going to move the scenario and you provide your own example if you think that the chapter's example is the best answer then you can just copy that um that um curriculum modification idea to the table and you can submit it i'm okay with it either your own idea or books example so the curriculum modification by activity and routine starts from page 86. If you have any questions or concerns, please email me at sunnykim at uic.edu.